Well, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that we've come to a very special part of the evening tonight. Yes, indeed. A part of the evening that we've all been looking forward to and waiting for. Please join me and give a rousing round of applause to the Vice Chairman, Channels Media Group, Mrs. Shola Momo. This is quite a ceremony, getting my pair of glasses out. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and hope you're all fully settled, comfortable, relaxed and enjoying the evening. If you thought we invited you here this evening just for you to applaud us, please think again. We receive applause from you on a constant basis, sometimes seasoned with hard knocks and at all times outright adverse criticisms and fierce displeasure. We appreciate all of that. The totality of your feedback keeps us on our toes. Our purpose for inviting you here tonight is instead to allow us be the ones to clap for you and tell you how much you all mean to us. You see, the story of Chanes is like a farmer whose young son's dream was to own a farm full of oak trees he went to his father to ask for an oak plantation. His farmer father gave him an acorn and said to him, that's all is needed to own that plantation. By providence, John and I found ourselves in broadcasting and journalism. He was more certain from the onset of wanting to become a broadcaster. I wasn't. I wanted to be a lawyer but found myself working for a television organization. Our paths crossed, we met, and the rest, they say, is history. It's not the romance I want to highlight this evening, even though that's another compelling account, but I can't give that out free of charge. You'll have to pay us for that. Maybe when we release the movie of the making of channels, you'll get to watch that. Back to my point. John and I shared a passion for Nigeria and Africa. We wanted a Nigeria, and we still do, which will be driven by civilization, where there will be comparable development, where people will uphold the sanctity of human life, where people will seek the common good, and where dignity of labor respect for one another, equality, fairness, justice, and free enterprise will be the new culture. Just like the farmer gave his son the acorn seed, our own father saw our desire and gave us channels as a seed to plant and cultivate, knowing fully well that if it grows correctly, it could influence the culture of Nigeria and help to shape its future and destiny. As the saying goes, poor planted, Apollos watered, it is the Lord that gives increase. It's therefore proper to begin our recognition tonight by acknowledging the sovereignty, faithfulness, and lordship of our Father in heaven, the almighty God, our maker and creator. He is our refuge and fortress 
He has made channels a possibility and given us the grace to celebrate his 21st anniversary. Everyone here has been carefully selected either in their own personal capacity or as a representative of a community which has contributed in no small measure to the success we celebrate tonight. And for that, we say thank you to all of you. On a night like this, certain names stand out. And we ask your support to join us, applaud such as we mention them. We acknowledge the enactment of the decree that deregulated the broadcast industry in 1993 and salute the courage of the then head of state, President Ibrahim Babangida, who effected the change. From hindsight, what he did was to indirectly abolish military coups as the, regulation, as the deregulation put a stop to the then usual military intervention on our radio waves with phrases such as fellow Nigerians, I, Lieutenant Colonel, so, 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 and so. The country suddenly had more than one radio station. So if a coup was announced on one, it could be easily countered on another. That singular act brought about the cessation of military coups in Nigeria. It also brought about the entrance of private broadcasters, such as channels television, to the Nigerian media space. Thank you, General Babangida. We acknowledge all our past heads of state and presidents who are celebrating with us tonight. President Olusha Gwabasanjo, father of modern Nigeria, General Gowan, the quintessential go on with one Nigeria, and the likes of Lieutenant General Theophilus Danjuma, a very passionate admirer of Channel's television. We acknowledge the positive disposition of President Muhammad Buhari towards a vibrant and free press in Nigeria. I haven't met him personally, but that's no news. I haven't met a lot of people either, because I tend to work behind the scenes. But the closest I've been to him was when we were editing the anniversary goodwill message he sent to channels television. I was touched by his simplicity, humility, and transparency. He's truly a father. Thank you, Mr. President, for your understanding of the role of the press and for allowing the opposition the right to their own opinion. Thank you. In 1991, two men, unaware of each other, were consistently on John's back. One was always telling him that he'd outgrown his job at the NTA and needed to leave. The other was always asking him to bring a business proposal for funding. After about 12 to 18 months, he succumbed to both pressure. With absolutely no strings attached, he then submitted a proposal to the gentleman asking for it. And true to his word, he secured a facility for the takeoff of the company that became the parent company of Channels Television. That man is Mr. Sam Uniko. Some of our IMB colleagues will, and the bankers here would recognize him. We acknowledge your help, Mr. Uniko, and salute you tonight. You did that without any demands, and we didn't even have a chance to say thank you before the facility turned bad. Thanks to the political and financial crisis in Nigeria at that time, brought about by the annulment of the June 12, 1993 election, which was perceived to be the freest and fairest. Tonight, again, we applaud Mr. Sam Oniko. The second man is a successful entrepreneur in the oil industry. 
a self-made achiever who kept urging John to start his own enterprise. Unknown to him, the only passion young John had then was to broadcast and produce programs. He gave in to that urge eventually when in 1992, he decided to form a television production company which kept him within the corridors of the media world. John then approached this gentleman to serve as the chairman of the board of the newly registered company, a position he accepted and executed with a lot of enthusiasm and commitment. That man is Mr. Martin Ikediashi. Thank you, Mr. Ikediashi, for all your advice and the countless opportunities you afforded us to glean from your wealth of experience in the business world. When Channel Television began transmission 21 years ago, we were on the air for close to 18 months without any adverts. People would ask us then if we were not allowed adverts, or known to them that we didn't have any. One great company broke that ice for us, and that company is celebrating with us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Cadbury Nigeria PLC. The very first company to advertise on channels television. Your name is already written in the annals of channels' history. Bon Vita was that product, and we are delighted to note that both the company and the product are still going strong. In like manner, the very sponsorship break we got was approved and facilitated by a man John and I have grown to admire and respect, a celebrated banker, a financial engineer of international repute. That sponsorship was the endorsement by the bank he was managing of, on our flagship program then, on the News at 10. And that commercial was, Chartered Bank is proud to be associated with the News at 10. That man is celebrating with us tonight Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ayo Olagundoye. Thank you very much, Mr. Olagundoye. We acknowledge First Bank, the longest commercial partnership on channel television, 16 years and still counting. Yeah. Mrs. Awoshika, where are you? Okay. Thank you very much. We thank all our advertisers and advertising agencies who continue to patronize us and ensure that we remain in business. I'd like to acknowledge the Minister of Information, one of them, under President Obasanjo, Frank Weke Jr. <clears throat> Frank it was who approved that channels should be given more licenses to extend its coverage areas beyond Lagos and Abuja to the other geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Today, we are FTA, that's free to air in Benin, Edo State, in the south-south zone, and Kano, Kano State, in the northwestern zone of Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Wenke. We also recognize all past director generals of the National Broadcasting Commission, from the pioneer DG, Tom Adaba, to Silas Isa, who gave us a license allowing us access into the cable satellite platform, and to recently, Emeka Mba, who assisted with the granting of the super station license to enable us broadcast from anywhere in Nigeria. We appreciate all the wonderful management and staff of the NBC for their nurturing. And tonight, some of them are celebrating with us. At this juncture, we like to put on record 
The support we receive from all well-meaning Nigerians, our viewers and our friends, both at home and abroad, during the suspension of our broadcasting license by the Yaradua government in September 2008. That unjust act was condemned by all and sundry. And tonight, we acknowledge the solidarity shown to us by the Nigeria Bar Association, MBA, the Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ, the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, the press, especially Punch newspaper, who all demanded for the immediate restoration of our license. It's on record also that the governor of Lagos at that time, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, issued an ultimatum to the then federal government to lift the suspension or face a legal hassle. The suspension became too hot for the government to handle. It succumbed and the ban was lifted within 48 hours. Thank you to all of you. We thank all our friends and mentors, those who have encouraged us, those who have lifted our hands up when we were tired, those who have opened their homes to us to unwind, and those whose love and care continue to propel us, those whose examples of success, pioneering, steadfastness, and selflessness continue to motivate us. Your names are not mentioned this evening because you are so close and personal to us. The names are so close and personal to us. You know yourselves. God knows you. We celebrate you tonight and thank you. We thank all our families, many of them here tonight. We are who we are today because of your support and prayers. We thank and acknowledge our children for their inspiration, love, and to those of them old enough, their tolerance. You saw the choir. They're all children of channels and staff, and we salute and applaud them. We recognize our parents, and we say thank you, parents, for your relentless love, cheer, support, and prayers. We also honor the memory of our fathers, Pa Ikebe Momo, John's father, and my father, Jacob Adelehi. We say, may they continue to rest in peace. We celebrate our mothers tonight. I can assure you, both of them are watching. Mommy Ashimau Momo, we celebrate you and we say thank you. And Mommy Bolanle Ibizako Adelehi, we say thank you to you. Thank you for your prayers. To you, our viewer, you are the true wind beneath our wings. We salute your steadfast support, your ardency, and your vibrancy. We promise to continue to make television watching worth your while. Thank you very much.